Hey there folks, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you as usual and I hope that I find you all very well indeed. So a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. I haven't said that for such a long time and this is just what we had for our tea last night. So the slow cooker got wheeled out because I haven't used it for such a long time. I saw this recipe online and I just had to give it a go. In fact, I will credit the original recipe underneath in the description box if you want to go and see that one. So it's basically loaded potatoes. Now I was actually planning on having this just in a bowl with a big hunk of bread and that would have been it but this is so rich <laughs> I decided just to have it as a side with some tomatoes and corn and I also made burgers and things so I didn't have the burgers because like I said this is just ultra rich and there's quite a lot of bacon in there so this was fine for me but it is so so tasty so yeah highly recommended. This is everything that I used here and this will feed four to five people. So you've got some bacon, I used thick smoked bacon and then some smoked paprika and then some garlic cloves and then some grated cheese. I just used cheddar cheese and then some baby potatoes. Now if they're on the larger side you'll want to half them or quarter them and then some spring onions and then some optional sour cream and you'll also need some spray oil as well just for your foil. So like I said this is everything I used here. Just a wee bag of tatties, some paprika, you can use smoked or unsmoked, I used the smoked one, some scallions or spring onions, some sour cream, your cheese and the garlic and this was the bacon that I used. I used thick bacon but you can use whatever bacon and even bacon lardons if you prefer and this was the spray oil I used so first of all you want to get your bacon fried so just chop this into bite-sized pieces go over to your cooker you won't need any oil for this if you leave a wee bit of fat on your bacon that'll be sufficient oil so you just want to cook this to your own liking now for this kind of thing I do like it quite well done and quite crispy so I gave this one a wee while just so that it was well cooked so just keep going until you're happy with it and this was just what I was looking for here and as you can see there's quite a bit of grease in the bottom there and I have not added any oil at all so get over to your slow cooker and you want to set this to high this is going to cook for about five hours make sure your slow cooker is lined with foil and give it a good spray with some oil or a rub over with some oil pop some of your potatoes in. You just want to layer all of your ingredients. You know, the amount of layers you get will depend on the size of your slow cooker. I ended up with three layers, but if you've got a bigger slow cooker, you might get two layers. So the potatoes, the cheese, the garlic, and then some of your bacon. Then the spring onions. And then your uh, smoked paprika or paprika, whatever you're using. The, the amount you use is absolutely up to you. But I used quite a lot because I love this, you know, the flavour of the smoky paprika with the potatoes. It's just lovely. So just keep repeating your layers until you've got nothing left. Just make sure it's nice and even. Just, yeah, keep going until you're, you're out of ingredients. And I just finished with some cheese and another wee bit of paprika on top. Now you just want to sort of gather your foil round and leave a wee gap at the top there just to let some of the steam escape. Just tuck it in nicely. Pop your lid on and give this five hours, like I said, on high. Just come back and test with a knife. If you put your knife in and, you know, it comes out with potatoes quite easy, you know, you want them nice and tender. And this was me five hours later. And as you can see, it's steaming away nicely. And this was my end result. And I was super happy with this. Now, it does look quite dry on the top, but when you stir it or as you stir it and get everything from the bottom to the top, it's just so rich and there's just so much. I'm, I'm going to call it gravy in the bottom. It's just produced a lovely sort of uh, paprika, cheese, bacon, oil, if you like. Oh, it's just so rich. But like I said, I was planning and serving this just in a bowl with some buttered bread on the side, but it was just that wee bit too rich, in my opinion, just to have it on its own. So you really do need something to cut that sort of rich flavour. Even a wee side salad would have been lovely, but we just had, like I said, some tomatoes on the side and some uh, sweet corn. I put some sour cream on the top and I also made burgers like I said but it really was very tasty and highly recommended you give that a go. Not one I will do all the time 
because like I said, it's just super rich and we're not, you know, we do like sort of meat-based meals, but this was just a wee bit on the rich side, even for us. And like I said, I did make burgers as well. So yeah, like I said, I will link the original recipe underneath this one. But before I leave you, I wanted to say as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. It's very much appreciated. So thank you all. And thank you all for watching if you're still here at this point and I will catch up with you during the week for a wee shopping haul back on Sunday for meals of the week and then another, another wee recipe next week and I think next week is going to be that uh, lovely puff candy that I was telling you about. I some people call it honeycomb or cinder toffee in this country we call it puff candy and you can dip it in chocolate it's just wonderful and so easy to make and if you're not following me over on instagram yet i'm what's for t3 over there so it'll be lovely to see you there but whenever i see you next guys mind to take care of yourselves and i'll see you off as soon back here on what's for t bye now